Advances in technology influencing multimedia. Improved resolution. Now, resolution relates to the amount of individual pixels available for displaying image or video data on a monitor. The more pixels available within a monitor, the sharper the image that is being produced will be. So you might have seen before when you've watched a TV and essentially you might have a HD TV or 4K TV, but you might be watching a TV channel that is still considered standard definition. Okay, which means it doesn't have as many pixels or resolution displaying. You might notice that there's a bit of blockiness around the edges. Okay, that's resolution. Okay, and that's actually low resolution. Okay, when you can actually see those pixels uh, around the edges or that little bit of blockiness. Okay, and so the more resolution we have, as said here, the sharper the image will be. Increased resolutions allow for larger images to be created for larger monitors with less pixelation as there are more pixels available on screen. Okay, And that's why in the last 10 years, TVs have been able to get larger and larger and larger because we are able to offer these higher resolutions that it retain that quality of the actual picture being displayed even though the screen is larger. And obviously in the past, this has been much more expensive, but um, manufacturers have found ways of doing this and doing this cheaper, as well as consumers willing to pay higher prices for TVs of this quality. So let's talk a bit about resolution now. And so essentially these days, the standard display for a television is 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is considered full HD, high definition, okay? And so that kind of still is the standard at the moment. But as many of you are aware, 4K resolution is slowly becoming the new standard here, okay? We're in the 4K generation, and we're starting to hear about 5K and 8K, and some TVs do offer but though they're not mainstream, those types of resolutions. But 4K is slowly becoming this new standard at 4,096 pixels by 2,160 pixels, okay? Which is considered around four times the resolution of current high definition TVs, okay? So essentially, it's approximately double that of high definition in both height and width, okay? Um, pixels in existence on screen, okay? And that's how we're getting that four times the size. And I'll display that in a second. What it also means is that 4K TV could be made four times larger than a current HD TV and produce the same quality image. Okay, and I'll illustrate that here now. So here is my high definition TV and here is my 4K definition TV. Okay, and both of them are the exact same size. They are 65 inch TVs. I'm using inches as the standard format because that's how TVs are sold. Even though I live in a country, Australia, that doesn't use inches as a measurement format. Okay, but for TVs, that's pretty much, uh, we refer to it through inches. My HD TV, as I said, is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels in order to produce my on-screen images. My 4K TV is 4,096 pixels by 2,160 pixels. Okay, so what we're saying here is the amount of pixels in my high definition TV could fit four times into that one screen. So you can think of 4K in that capacity in that it's four times larger than an actual high, high definition TV by the amount of pixels it has for producing its screen resolution. Also, it's 4K because it has 4,000 pixels running across the top. And they're 4K, Roman numerals 4,000. All right, so think of it like that. Now, as I said before as well, what it means here is, because they're both 65 inch TVs, let's say my 4K TV, I made it 130 inch TV. So I essentially doubled its diagonal size going down the middle as I'm showing the measurement here. That 130 inch TV would produce an image that is the same quality as this 65 inch high definition TV on my left. So essentially I could have a much more bigger and better looking TV producing an image as quality of a TV half its size in this current generation. Okay, if you're lucky enough to get 130 inch TV, you know, that'd be awesome for watching your movies. But essentially, that's the important thing about resolution. The more pixels we have on screen, the higher the, uh, the amount of sharpness of the image, okay, and the less pixelation we're going to get. And obviously, that's amazing for multimedia systems because I can create movies that can be viewed, obviously, in a very fluid uh, manner, but also gaming as well, where there is sometimes more pixelation. Um, and the consoles obviously push the hardware of the TV, they can be presented much better on these higher quality TVs. So I hope you understand what resolution is.